What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Yaroslav Gorbal, Thesion1111, Logan Wager, Grand Baron Ludwig, Jay, Rogelio, Richie, Yeetrance, Joshua Fix, Aaron Smart, Eric Phelps, Gino, Omar Bakhati, Salosi, Garp784, Adam Hart, Norian Chum, and Christopher Mitzcock. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Hey, I told you we'd be back at this. Took a long damn time, but we're back at this. I mean, shit. <laughs> And for those of you who are asking where Dragon Ball Z Episode 60 abridged is, we'll get to that hopefully eventually. Hopefully. I'm praying. Hopefully we will get there. But for now, you know, Helsing Ultimate abridged, Episode 10, the finale. So, yeah, everyone's fucked in this so far. Everyone's just, like, outright screwed. Just, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, all of, Lon all of London is literally a bloodbath. Anderson's gone, and I'm just you know I know nothing about the series. I just I'm really disappointed in Walter. I am too. I just you know I expected better from him. I really rooted for him for a long time. I, I did just, too. I mean when he when he started taking on uh, Luke Valentine and he was just like, "Hello, my name is Walter C. Dornays. I answer the door. I <laughs> I answer the door and I clean the windows." And I pay occasion. Oh, oh yeah, it's I. I answer the door and I take out the trash. And every now and again, I take. I give punks like you a lesson. It's like, yay, Walter. And of course, the razor wire, just destroying everybody, which is awesome. But, and then of course you have Integra, and that and also, uh, it seems as though a uh, police girl, uh, Saris, has uh, come to grips with uh, what she's become. And is now uh, joined by like an eternal passenger, of uh, uh with uh, uh, dang it, it's in my head. He's right there. He's the Frenchman. I forget his name now. I know I'm gonna get crucified for that. Just oh, for I forgetting his <clears throat> name. I barely remember anyone's name. I've never seen this actual series. So I, you know. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the series all the way through. And I'll say this: so far, they've done a pretty damn good job of portraying it and making it comedic that's that's one thing that they've changed up certain things in dragon ball z abridged to make it flow better as a comedy this the comedy was sort of there in the background but this they amplify it by pointing out different things and making and you know changing up the dialogue but yeah i am um, pip that's his name pit bernadotte that's his name sorry Sorry. Hey, just know I got it before we started the actual sh before we actually started this. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry. I I'm an idiot sometimes. I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you. I I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> it was like a weird like Rick Sanchez and Alex Jones. Like... That's what I was going cuz Alex Jones went on the Joe Rogan experience and he actually said that. Yeah. Oh, that, I've seen the memes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had llamas on his show the other day. That was weird. He did? Yeah. So then they did um you know the meme of the no, girl screaming at the cat and the cat's at the table, like, doing that? Yeah. They did that, but it was Alex Jones and a llama, like, sitting there in place of the cat, like, oh, uh. <laughs> And he was like... Alex Jones, the man is a living meme. He is. He is literally a living meme. Even though YouTube has banned him, everyone's banned him. Which, that might actually be overturned here soon, because... Um, they may very well pass a law that makes it illegal for private companies to ban people based upon their freedom of speech, unless there is a unless there is a uh, like a direct link of them causing a terrorist attack or causing direct act like them literally saying, "I want you to go out and kill people right now." You see, if you say that on there and then people actually do, then you deserve to be banned. That I think that goes without saying. However. If someone's on there and, and saying an opinion that you just don't like and you don't want people to hear and you ban them outright from your pub, from your platform, which you say is public, I mean... Well, yeah, it depends on if you want to run it as a run it like as a publisher or you want to run it and use it as like a utility. 
you know, because if you try and make it more of a utility and just say, well, you know, they use it how they want, we're not liable for it. But then if you try to run as a publisher, then suddenly you start becoming well, liable for the content you're promoting. YouTube, so. I think, I see YouTube as a utility, though. I think most people out there see YouTube as a utility. I, I think originally they were trying to run it like that. Um, but now they're definitely acting more like a publisher, and that's which not... is bullshit. Because I mean, look, well, it makes it harder on everyone else because they're yeah, not... <laughs> yeah, and it's it's ridiculous. It, oh well, here we are complaining about YouTube while making a while making a living off YouTube. So, eh, it is what it is. I mean, everybody it... hates their boss, right? <laughs> oh God, I hope. I... Wait, wait. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I could see that. Just imagine how people that work for the government feel. Oof. I'm glad you don't work for the government because you'd have already gone on like a you already you would have already gone like op, full office mayhem on. Them. I'm pretty sure I would burst into flames if I ever worked in the public sector. <laughs> or you could be like Ron Swanson and bleed out the bleed out the the beast from within. Well, maybe. Maybe. Like Drax in Guardians Two, where you like, yes, <laughs> just I can just see you in there with those knives, like ah. <laughs> speaking of knives and speaking of uh, bleeding the beast out from within, oh dear. Uh, let's get on to uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridged Episode Ten, the finale. Here we go. The following is a fan-based parody. Helsing yeah. Ultimates is owned by Kota Hirano and Studio Madhouse and yeah. licensed by Genion, Mad Men Entertainment, Manga Entertainment and Funimation. Please support the official release. The Nazis. Oh. Let me see if I can think the grand scheme here, Benjamin Button. The Jerry's thought that if I purged all my souls, I wouldn't have my hashtag life hack. And at least one of you could kill me. So when the very fine people of the Nazi military, those KKK looking sons of bitches, and Alexander motherfucking Anderson couldn't do the job, you thought you, you were the guy. But quick question, Jolly Wally. How many people lived in London? Or rather, died? Let's take a census! Oh, yeah, that's right. A literal torrent of blood. It's a lot of blood. Yeah. Ah, welcome and said the spider to the fly. Although I'd say you're more of a hornet. <laughs> and unlike its modest brother, the bee, the hornet does not die after it has stopped. It guards its nest with the ferocity and the tenacity of a, of a mother who is protecting her child! <laughs> Okay, if the bullets were going to work, then why would the sword? You coward! Oh, we all have our shields. Some of us have tempered glass. Others have the king of vampires. Speaking of whom... Huh? <laughs> oh, the card just numbing it up. It's on a binge after purging. And it <laughs> seems like our dear Alucard is looking to get white girl wasted. <laughs> Let's hope that nobody spiked his drink, yeah? <laughs> Look at me, Walter. I'm sucking everyone but you. So in celebration of your wasted attempts, I'm going to give you the little death you deserve. And before you ask, yes, this is a JoJo reference. I gave up <laughs> everything to kill you. So just lie back. And think of hell! Oh, the honorable Walter, you're slitting me too! Now do it another three million times, why don't you? Ah, poor Walter. 
Each second ticks his life down, all to grasp of victories that never belong to him. A piece of our puzzle, 3,708,917 pieces large. And now, it falls to Millennium to finish it. What's going on? Oh, Fräulein, have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? I shot Schrodinger's cat! Indeed, and yet it lives! And yet it dies! It is here, yet it is not. It is a curious creation, one of infinite possibilities, as long as it remains unobserved. Yet to consume a thing is to know a thing. Alucard is now partaking of Warrant Officer Schrodinger's paradoxical existence. And as our dear cat boy stares into the abyss that is within Alucard, that abyss stares back. The wave function collapses, uncertainty becomes certainty, the proverbial coin flips, and... Uh, huh? Halicon! What did you do? I called heads! He did it. Whatever you've done with him, you're not making it out of here alive. Then my last meal shall be victory. Oh! Hello, police girl. Report. Killed a Nazi werewolf? Pip's inside me. He's inside of all of us, Ceres. Also, where did you find a Nazi werewolf? Where did you find Dracula? In a basement. How poetic. We found a werewolf in the attic. I mean, we find lots of things in attics. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> antiques! Sir Juden was a furious obsession, wow. not mine. And frankly, I'm insulted by the insinuation. Ceres! Well, I caught that, you asshole! And frankly. You, <laughs> you asshole! Sorry, all right. I'm sorry. I just had to. Fine. And frankly, I'm insulted by the insinuation. Saris, yes. I'm building a mind for a life, but you're a few dozen millimeters too thin. Oh, that's shit. As a howitzer. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, bitch. Show me what you love. Whoa. <laughs> Bitches love cannons. Ruined. After figuring out I could use the bones of Dracula's ex-wife to make vampires, now I have to start again. I can't stay in England or Germany. You know, I'll go to Russia. They let you get away with anything there, <laughs> as long as it's not too gay. How does it feel, Walter? You were right. You were the only thing I cared about. I needed you back. So badly I let Richard chase Integra right to your arms. But by then, I was past my prime. So I betrayed them all. My master, my country. I tossed them to the wind. For one last chance at you. Now I have nothing. But this hole in my Oh. And fortune smiles on something as right as Ankle. It seems proof like no other that not only does God exist, you're doing his will. Shot in the gut, slumped against a wall, and executed by some crazy German Catholic bit quoting Kill Bill. Yes, a traitor's death. <laughs> Alfith is in. The gates of hell will have to swing wide for your fat Nazi carcass. Oh, Fraulein, if I'm so fat, how did you miss? Ah, never mind. Crash up, Damon. Gross. 
I'm sorry, what the fuck am I looking at? Is that metal and oil? Are you a cyborg? Why are you a cyborg? I am no less a man than anyone with a pacemaker or hearing aid. For what is the marker of a man but his interminable will? No, a man is a homo sapien made of meat and blood. Not cogs and coolant, and I'm just going to assume a hamster on a wheel. His name is Hamburg. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking. Once you finally get it, I, I see the line, the factory seal on society. A world mired in complacency, slaves to their instincts, and fueled by anger and hatred. Mm. A rocket propellant as volatile as it is potent, and frighteningly self-sustaining. Is there a rest stop between now and the fucking point? The point, Integra Fairbrook Vingates Helsink, is that we are nothing but scared, spiteful children playing at adulthood, a fictitious lie of comfort and even more repugnant complacence. So what is a man to do? But wage war, so calamitous and glorious that it would snap humanity out of its foolish, worthless charade. And who better? An opponent, Sam Helsink. Okay, but why are you a cyborg, though? Are you still on set? Okay, it's simple, you see. Ah, <sighs> Erfurtwagen. So long, farewell. I'll feed her saying goodnight. I live on team. As I won't say goodbye. Go. You're not entirely wrong. You just didn't have to be such an asshole about it. Mm. <sighs> What's wrong? Is it the eye? That. And he just ruined the sound of music for me. Oh. Say, where's Alucard? I have no fucking idea! Three million seven hundred eight thousand nine hundred seventeen casualties alone in London that fateful night. Luckily, with help from the Americans, rebuilding hasn't been too difficult. Tell me, how are the Americans doing since the incident? Well, there was a bit of a stir when they decided that since corporations are people, they could technically run for president. But President Walt Disney Pepsi Comcast has done wonders for the economy. <laughs> being that it is now the economy. Quite. Hold on. Wasn't Integra supposed to join us? She has a meeting with the uh, Catholics today. I see. She's still looking for answers. And so, after traveling all over Europe and America Classic and doing countless hours of research in the halls of the Vatican and Wikipedia, we still do not know how or why he was a cyborg. Excuses! Go to America Zero and don't come back until you've got answers! Of course, <laughs> Serintegra. <sighs> I miss Canada. Oof. <laughs> Sir, didn't we supply Millennium with the cyborg technology? First of all, they're enhanced humans. Second, shut your communion hole. The walls have ears. Ah, you stupid son of a bitch. And third of all, no, we didn't. 
What in two days first to fourth hells was that? Something most foul and inhuman. A Frenchman in love with an English woman. We will continue to lead them along until this peace treaty has run its course. In the meantime, it puts men on the inside of Helsing as the Vatican rebuilds. Also, Heinkel, do you need Antonio to change your bandages? No. Will you ever change your bandages? No! All right, gentlemen, Cross. wrap it up and hit the showers. And stop bullying Penwood Jr. Jr. I don't want a fence. I want to make reaction videos. Never mind. <laughs> <Bully and bother. laughs> oh, these are the dudes I leave this organization to when I die. Mom, you're 52, British, and rich. You'll outlive them all. Don't you talk to me about outliving people, Carmilla. I know you can't see yourself in the mirror, but we both know you haven't aged a day. And yet every day, I find another wrinkle. I would hold your hand in public. You know what I think? I think you're afraid you'll die before he comes back. <laughs> Mom, that hurt! We do not talk about him! But Mom, he's... A deadbeat who skipped out on us for 30 years and counting! Speak one more word of him, and I'll lock you in a crate and ship you to Abu Dhabi! No, not again! Oh, every Monday with you! Charm them back off again. How are my favorite ladies? Master! So, you're finally back after 30 years. How was your walk? Got a little too enthusiastic and got a little lost. Hello? Hello? Hey! Hi. Name's David. I'm an accountant. Don't remember asking. And I'm sad. Oh, Jesus. Turned out I was trapped inside myself with 3,424,867 people. I didn't have a ton of friends. I think it was because I was ugly. Mm, probably. Oh. Ah, but who gives a fuck? That just means the people who like you for you were more deserving. Oh. It's like your ugliness curated their shittiness. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Well, that was... I'm Becky. Oh. And I don't want to be racist, but... Shit. And my only way out was to help them out. And I just... I just, just get so angry every time I'd see a guy kiss another guy. You think maybe you were angry because you couldn't be one of those guys? Because if you were, all your friends might think less of you? Oh. Oh, shit. Yep. You want to make out? I don't date patience. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Next. So he much, he played psychologist for all so my three million people. I never made time for him unless he asked. Yup, because if he'd really mattered, you would have put yourself out there. Damn. Next! <laughs> I don't know why she was angry. I told her I'd support her no matter what she chose. That doesn't sound like a partner. That sounds like a crutch. Shit, you're right! Every time I see a girl kissing another girl... You're gay! Oh! Turns out, like, a whole third of them were just in the closet. Sleeping around wasn't the problem. Being dishonest was. And again, that's why your relationships kept failing. Facebook. You're gay. Dude, you're allowed to like friends that much. It was a good show. But you didn't love the one you were with. You're straight. Buddha isn't gay. I think. Getting angry <laughs> about books made for horny teenage girls was ridiculous then. And it's ridiculous now. Don't mistake youthful selfishness for genuine malice. 
nobody isn't kind of an asshole in the early 20s. And if they actually weren't, they were probably sociopaths. You're a sociopath. <laughs> you. Are we a bad person? Well, let's start with the 20,000 people we impaled. We were pretty mad at Dad that day. Mm -hmm. And then I spent the last 10 years on that. Couldn't you have just killed them all? Ah, oh, I tried. <laughs> Especially on me. So, you're back for good then? Bitch, I'm everywhere. And yet nowhere. Then welcome home. Michael Mick doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, a callback. Girl, you know what I'm here for. After 30 years, I'm not the young woman I used to be. You do kind of look like a gender-bent Walter. And it may be the 30-year dry spell, but that is doing it for me! Damn. Well then, my Count. Come and get you some sip. Keep your arms steady, my Countess. <laughs> and there you go. That's okay. Oh, wait, let's see if there's. Oh yeah, they have all the the credits and everything. <laughs> let's see. Trying to see if there's anything else that they've got in here. Uh, da, 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 da. The end? Yeah, okay. So that's the end. All right. So, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> well, all right. Uh, in the actual anime, he did... He did... Uh, he did uh, go through all three... Three million plus in his head. But then he eventually found the one that couldn't be killed. And instead of... Instead of killing it, he pretty much made it himself, and now he not only has the power of all the powers of Dracula, but now the permanent powers of Schrodinger's cat. Okay. And can never be killed. And um, yeah. Because he kind of exists, but doesn't exist. Yes. Okay. He he teeters on the brink of uh, just existence and non-existence. Yeah, which is weird, but what do you expect? It's Alucard. Weird is sort of his M.O. Super weird. So, Alucard can, like, reconstitute himself. Yes. How come Saris, like, she still hasn't gotten her arm back? Well, she does have her arm back. It's just now that's a permanent thing with her. It's an extension she really just embraces. Okay. You see, <clears throat> and also, and also, I think that's just, I think that was a design choice by the artist. To make Saris look more cool. Right, because, I mean, Alucard's gotten stuff blown off and done the little weebly thing. Yeah, reconstituting But then, himself. like, obviously he comes back <clears throat> and, you know... Yeah. Looking presentable <clears throat> and passably normal. Passably. For a, you know, like a cosplayer or something, you know? <laughs> I just keep going back to that one where they went to Brazil. <clears throat> where this one girl, this Ozzy Osbourne-looking motherfucker... <laughs> I'm just curious. I didn't know if she was like a like a lesser vampire, so she couldn't well, like always do all the stuff. She's she can. a direct like direct descendant of Alucard in terms of the vampire lineage, which means she's extremely powerful, like probably the second most powerful vampire in existence. But still, Alucard Alucard is patient zero when it comes to vampires. Right. Whereas Saris is like first gen. Right. She's still got it's it's like great genes being passed down through uh through uh like Genghis Khan's genes. Genghis Khan's genes were passed down, but eventually his like the precipice of who he was as a person faded away because it kept getting passed down and getting more and more like spread out. And I guess that's the sort of the thing. His progeny, which is over forty million people that's right, Genghis Khan <coughs> Genghis Khan's direct progeny, there are over 40 million of them in the world today. Maybe maybe be more like like in film where they had a master copy, and so yes. if you make a copy of a copy of a copy, there's like the diminishing returns. Yes. But, so you always want to make a copy from the master? 
Yes. Effectively. I mean, if you're looking to become a vampire, you know, don't go to uh, that one vampire that works at Hot Topic who says they're like, who says they know a guy who's a, they know the guy who made them a vampire and he's a pretty big deal. I'm just saying. Instead, I mean, go straight to the root and find Alucard and just be like, make me a vampire. He'll just be like, uh, no. I mean, immortality's immortality, so it's like, you know. I mean, well, immortality is immortality, but if I'm wanting, like, immortality plus, which, you know, Alucard kind of has, True. it'd be very difficult to kill. It'd be very difficult to kill me. Uh, which, that's the, we watched It Follows the other day. Uh, I told you about it. The monster in It uh, in It Follows is uh, impossible to kill by all standards. However, it doesn't like water for some reason. And they pushed it into the water and, uh, and some things happened. But effectively, they're still saying that there's no real way to kill it. To which, you know, it's a... That's that's the thing about about stuff like that. It, it there are ways to permanently immobilize, permanently immobilize something. For instance, if I really wanted to, like, if I really wanted to to kill a vampire, I would effectively, I would effectively just dice it up as much as I could. Sort of what Anderson did when he first met Alucard, and I would pretty much make sure it couldn't move, put it outside, and just let it burn up in the sun until it, there was literally nothing left. I mean, that's... that. I mean, especially if you're following, like, Nosferatu rules. Whereas old school, like, Dracula rules, Dracula wasn't really harmed by the sunlight. Back in Bram Stoker's original, mm. he actually walked around in the sunlight. A lot. Yeah, they never really discussed... I don't think he liked it. Um, I don't recall him ever being, like... Yeah, in sunlight. But, I mean, during the day, he would be in his, like, he had, like, his... It wasn't a coffin. It was just, like, a big box with dirt in it. Yes. Well, and then, of course, you have, uh... You have, uh, when he, when he goes to England, he's walking around in the sun after he's feasted enough. After he after he's feasted enough, he, he can have a resistance to the sun. However, I'm not sure. I... It's just I remember Nosferatu being the first uh, first example of the sunlight actually hurting him. That's that's at least to my memory. I don't recall. I remember reading it. It's been a while, but I know I know he had to stay in his box because they were going back to his keep and like they he had like the band of gypsies, you know, gar- protecting the carriage when everybody was after him. Yeah. Um. And I can't remember, because I know, was it maybe Quincy Morris had the Kukri and attacked him? They were inside, and he, like, took a swipe at him, and he, like, he had, like, a like a bunch of money that he, like, cut through or something. So I can't really remember if he was ever outside or not. I know he can't pass over running water. He had to be shipped in the box. Yes. So that's also something, just, like, drop him in the ocean, and they're stuck forever. Yeah. He'll just be down there forever, just being like, "This is not how I wanted to spend it's eternity." Really salty about it. Stuck everything. in a bo- quite literally, especially if they're passing over the Mediterranean, which is a salty, salty place. Like it's not what I imagined, but it could be worse. And all of a sudden, someone drop like someone just out of spite drops a waterproof speaker down there, and it's playing "Country Roads Take Me Home," and he's just like, "It got worse." I was wrong. No, it can't get any worse. I'm just saying, if you have to pick one song, I mean, being stuck with some John Denver is not the worst. No, it isn't. But for eternity? I don't know. <laughs> Country Roads is pretty great. Country Roads is a great song. I'm not going to lie about that. But if but if I had to hear it the amount of times I did when I was a kid, oh, I I would I literally just would bury my head in the sand. I'd go full. I'd just like go full denial mode like nope 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 not happening but uh, okay the, yeah you're right there is worse I know it could be Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday on repeat I'm pretty sure I've never heard that in my life but you know I don't think to. I would like it it's I don't think I would like it's, it it's her album it's her album and it's it's there's not very many good songs on it and even the good ones are get annoying after a little while it's just like Hey, these are pop songs. 
Oh God, these are pop songs. Oh God, when will they stop? Make them stop. Oh my God, I want to kill. I want to kill something right now. <clears throat> but yeah, that's sort of how it goes. But <laughs> yeah, I, there's ways you can figure out. Uh, for instance, uh, you remember Thirty Days of Night, right? Yep. Uh, the movie. Uh, if I were one, if I were them, I would have planted myself in the. Uh, I would have grabbed a shotgun, all the ammo I could, and I'd have just kept myself in the prison behind bars. And I'd have had the keys with me so they couldn't unlock it. And I'd just literally be sitting there with the shotgun every time they came close. Bam, head blown off. Bam, head blown off. Bam, head blown off. Yeah. And just keep doing that. I'd never run out of shells, and they just run out, and they would just all die. Well, if they kept coming at you, I mean, presumably they would get smart and then just stay away try and starve you out or something or light the building on fire or that or that yeah of course i mean it's like blocks so it wouldn't burn but you could, like pile up a bunch of stuff and light on fire smoke you out i don't know yeah they could <clears throat> me there's but there's there's multiple there's multiple ways of dealing with shit like that but yeah 30 days and Night's actually one of my favorite vampire movies recently it's pretty creepy oh it was it was very creepy and uh it beats the hell out of the Twilight movies, that's for sure. Which, now everybody in our generation, well, in our generation and the, the generation that came after us, are only going to see Twilight and say, wow, those are some really bad... I, I, I hate vampires. And never knowing what, what Dracula is, or this, or anything else out there. Instead, all they know is Twilight, simply because of its popularity. Oh well. It is what it is, but... Damn. This, uh... <laughs> yeah, this this series, I'm glad that they were able to finish it. I'm glad we were able to finish this. Because, you know, a lot of people have been asking, where the hell is this at? Where the hell... Like, why the hell aren't y'all doing this? It's like, we're, we're here. We're doing it now. I mean, we're, we're trying. Surprise. Hey! Yeah. So, uh, again, everybody, if you all have enjoyed this and you want to see more, feel free to click the link down below in the description. It'll take you to uh, Team Four Stars' main channel. They got Dragon Ball Z Abridged, which is, I don't know, one of my favorite uh, internet series of all time. And then, of course, uh, if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified. And until next time, I'm Nate. Micah. We will see you in the next one. Peace out.